Hello to my Taurus. This is Queen Amumura coming to you with your general reading. All right, Taurus, let's get right into it. This, ready, this video is for the 22nd through the 29th of September. Let's get into it. We're closing out this cycle. Great, right? So any releasing of any negative energy, great time to do it. When we have a gibbous, uh, waning gibbous moon phase, great time to do it as we're closing out a cycle. I've already prayed over your cards, already asked Most High God for clarity in every area of your lives. Let's see what comes out in your cards. Talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, wherever Taurus is in your birth chart. So including your 12 houses. So check your houses. Um, link for birth charts are below in the description. Check your birth chart. I'm not just talking to you if your sun sign is Taurus. So check your houses. Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, Hermit card, Devil card, Temperance card. Somebody has a guardian angel watching over them. Very nice. Here we have the Nine of Swords here. So somebody is just now awakening to some nightmares. You know, just kind of sort of around, just like... Um, you know, just a, this desire for harmony as far as family is concerned. And here we have um, the Eight of Swords. So whenever you see the Eight and Nine of Swords, that connects us with the zodiac sign Gemini. We're not talking about any Geminis that you know, but Gemini is ruled by Mercury. And Mercury is the communication and messenger planet. And so messages are traveling through the air, can be coming down through dreams, uh, daydreams, night dreams, um, However, they're traveling, but they're traveling to you. And so the, obviously they're talking about how, you know, when people don't work together for a common good, you being the common good, how it can really just create nightmares when people are chained to their demons. Whatever those demons are, fear, doubt, uncertainty, when people just don't see things from a higher frequency, it can just cause disharmony in a family. So that's what somebody is starting to see is it's like, you know, it has to be, see how this, um, you know, this water, like the give and take here. There has to be, people have to be able to see it from, you know, just like trying to resolve some kind of conflict and harmony within a family. But if people can't see what they have in common and how it can just the constant conflict, you know, that sword, this, this sword speaks to power and intellect. If there's always just this like darkness being spoken against people, it can just cause all kinds of nightmares for people involved, right? If it's just constant, just um, the dark side of hermit energy, which is Virgo. Virgo is, uh, like I said, Virgo is ruled by Venus. Venus, I mean, excuse me, is ruled by Mercury. Um, and Mercury is the planet of, like I said, this communication planet. It's like it's a power struggle. And so it's like you could be caught in the middle of a power struggle. It's just been causing you a nightmare. So some somebody has just decided to end it. Somebody has decided to move on from it just to protect their peace. And so for you um, um, to just break the chain. And so sources are saying you're going to have to see it at a higher frequency. So if that, that looks like family members just moving on some family members just say it's just not even worth all the power struggles and the drama and all of that especially as um everybody's breaking generational cycles chains and curses so as much as people would like to say everybody needs to just get along and if, if, if we could just do get if we could just all sit down that's not how it works for some people some people just tire it's just exhausting so that's what i'm saying it's a demonic it's a demonic bond people are just up some people are just obsessed um, enslaved to some kind of obsessions, right? And so source is just saying to you, you got to see that you got to be the one that sees from a higher frequency. Some people are just enslaved to some kind of obsession. So source is saying to you, you gotta, you gotta be the one to see it from a higher frequency. So, yep. So your portal is starting to open more and more and more and more and more to just kind of um, how you are in receiving mode of just messages about as um, imbalanced things could be. 
just imbalanced things could be, right? So here we have the Page of Wands. Here we also have the Eight of Swords again. Here we have the Nine of Wands. Here we have the Seven of Wands, the Ace of Cups, and also the Tower card. <clears throat> so yeah, so Source is cooking up something for you. Here's a Page of Wands here. And so um, somebody could have been roasting somebody. It could be a fire sign. could have been roasting somebody. And there just wasn't a whole lot of growth there. There just wasn't a whole lot of growth. Like, te y'all know what I'm saying? Like teasing somebody. Like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody, it just wasn't a whole lot of growth there. And then even you see it here. Here we have the Eight of Swords here. You know? So this is just a lot of negative thoughts in that. So, so it gives the illusion that somebody is restricted when you see the Eight of Swords there. But it's really, a, it's like self-imposed, restricted thinking. That's what it really is like. You know, it's like the way people talk is just like they're restricting themselves. And just like, you know, like we talk about like trying to keep your thoughts and words positive. They're restricting themselves and just like being chained to... Um, you know, not seeing things from a higher frequency. They're like speaking stuff into existence, right? So here we have the tower card, like like um, jumping to conclusions about things, like just wanting, just wanting something to be something that it may not be, right? So here we have the tower card. So yeah, um, Source is saying to you, you're starting to have a total recall of some things, of just how, like, when people jump to conclusions about things that they don't really know about, how it can actually cause a backlash of things when they're just jumping to conclusions and um, about just whatever it is, you know, having the worst possible, like, have, what, is, what is it called? Like, the first impressions of people without having, real, like, real knowledge of people, right? Just they don't really know. And so it does it doesn't produce a whole lot of growth. Here we have the nine of wands here. Yeah. Just doesn't see this like this little bit of growth here. Just doesn't produce a whole lot of growth. It takes you on this long and arduous journey, but there's no growth with the journey. It, I mean it's like very little growth there. And so I feel like somebody's gonna be able to defend their decision to move on from some things without even coming across as defensive. And that's that's where you're gonna start getting some good news coming in about whatever you've been praying for. That's when the good news is gonna come in. It's just like you know some energies were just having some like somebody just like I said, was just having some negative thoughts about some stuff. So it could be an Aries involved in something. Uh, Virgo could be involved in something. Uh, Capricorn could be involved in something. Um, um, Gemini could be involved in something. We looked at the eight, the eight and nine of swords connect us to Gemini. Yeah, but but yeah, so yeah. So Source is just saying to you, you know, when people just, you know, jump to conclusions and they, you know, just kind of impulsively assume whatever it is and don't really know what's going on about something. All right. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, something is closed out. Something is just like something has ended. Something has ended. Somebody has decided to move on from two situations altogether. Either you have decided to move on from two situations because we got the nine of swords and that's the end of something. Like and so two situations have ended. Either you have decided to move on from two situations, what could be two friends, two love interest, to whoever, right? Two people, places or things. Just to protect your peace. Um, and sources cooking up something um, for you and somebody could be roasting you because of that because you're finally moving on from something you have the nine of wands here but sources and you got to look at it from a higher frequency here for you you're divinely protected but you got to look at something from a higher frequency it's just like after a while it's just it, it just like i said it gets to be counterproductive you know it's just it, it's because it's two sides of the sword some people just for them is they wear the highway it's just like it's um page energy is youthful energy and it's like somebody is uh, yeah anyway here we have page of cups here we have the um nine of cups here we have the two of wands here 
So somebody may be traveling. The um the wheel of fortune. So yeah, you have you have two guardian angels watching over you. Yeah, you have two guardian angels watching over you. Um temperance card twice. Yep, so you have some guardian angels watching over you here. Mm -hmm. So you have some good news coming in. So so just like almost like some newfound compassion for you, you know, as you're trying to move on, you know, from some things. Um, I definitely feel like somebody's going to feel um, lucky or fortunate, you know. Um, um, you know, and then also... Um, learning how to master your spirit matters is what I'm seeing here in your cards. This is right here. Operating in purpose, right? Emotionally feeling like you've hit the jackpot. Traveling. Mm -hmm. Traveling. All right, let's close it out. Let us close it out. Let's close it out. <clears throat> Let's close it out. So things are starting to flow to you like water. It's trying to do a crown chakra cleanse. Don't forget the form is a uh, rest is a uh, don't forget that rest is a form of self care. You know, start pouring into yourselves more. Somebody is amongst the incubi and succubi. Um, whoever that is, hmm, who's the most incubi and succubi? But anyway, um, somebody secretly has a crush on you. You have to figure that out. So, um, the spy is now turned on. Whoever's been spying on you is turned on. But, um, it's time to get some fresh air, right? Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah. Um. And so, just pray for whoever it is you left behind. And so, thought, things are starting to become clearer and clearer to you. Um, the healer and protector of travelers is with you. And yeah. and so, yeah, new love awaits for somebody. New love awaits for you. So, congratulations to you for that. New love awaits. Somebody's going to feel very lucky. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Very nice. So again, I'm talking to you wherever Taurus is in your birth chart, not just your sun sign. Not just your sun sign. New love. Love is in the air. 33, I'm expanding. So any positive changes that or projects that you're considering right now will be worth your while. Expect that your um, expect that your um, power to manifest and create will be heightened. Mm hmm so yeah born to inspire all right so yeah so um that's what i see for you thank you for joining me i will see you all in the next video